the most important point of chapter nine was the events surrounding the curse placed on Canaan. Okay. Now going back, we understand that Noah, uh, Noah got drunk. Okay. He became exposed in his tent. So, you know, the, the covers came off him and his son Ham witnessed it. And instead of covering Noah, he exposed Noah to his other two brothers. Okay. Shem and Japheth. Okay. But instead of exposing Noah like Ham did, Shem and Japheth walked backwards and they covered Noah up. Okay. Now, when Noah was aware of what Ham did, he cursed Canaan, who is Ham's son. The reason why Canaan was cursed instead of Ham is because Ham was already blessed by God. Remember uh, 9 and 1, Genesis 9 and 1, and God blessed Noah and his sons, okay? So for this reason, Ham could not be cursed because the blessing could not be reversed. Do you understand that? So the curse instead fell on his son, Canaan. Verse 6 says, and the sons of Ham, Cush and Mizraim, and put in Canaan. Cush is going to be, he's going to inhabit the, the, the region of Ethiopia. Mizraim is the Hebrew name of what later became known as Egypt. So Mizraim means Egypt or Egypt means Mizraim. And when you tell people that the Bible, um, um, Chronicles the the inhabitation of of Africa. Here it is. Okay, so you have Cush, the region of Ethiopia. Mizraim is Egypt. Put is going to be uh, associated with the Libyans, and Canaan uh, means lowland. And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel and Erech and Akkad and Kalna and the land of Shinar. Nimrod name means rebellion. Okay. And, and, and I always say that you could tell a lot about, um, you could tell a lot about a person by their name because their names had meanings. So the name Nimrod means rebellion. Okay. Now he is the son of Cush, grandson of Ham, great grandson of Noah. All right. A mighty hunter. He established an empire in the area of Babylon and Assyria. Okay. Now understand this, the description of Nimrod being the first mighty hunter is not a positive description. Yes, he was a mighty hunter, but he became the world's first wicked leader. Okay, we're going to, we'll, we'll find out as we go on because Nimrod is going to lead the people astray. Okay, now, and another thing that you could do is look at the cities that he founded, Babylon, Nineveh, Assyria. Okay, these are all enemies of Israel. These will all later on be enemies of Israel. So spiritually, Nimrod is a type for Satan. Okay. Nimrod is a type, a future representation. Okay. A representation of the, the future Satan. Okay. Because he's the first, he's the leader of the world and he leads the people against God. 